Hello everyone, I am Yash Patel and welcome to my channel Django World. So in today's video, we are going to see scope based throttle and custom throttling. Both are basically same. Okay, I will explain you how they are same. But first, let me come over here and import the scope based throttle. Okay, now I will go down to the blog list create view. Now here, I'll just duplicate this line and comment this above one. Okay. I'll remove this both user rate and unknown rate throttle and I'll say scope based throttle. Okay. So once this is done, I'll write one more variable over here that is going to be throttle scope. So what is scope over here? So if I go to settings.py and scroll down you can see this anon 15 days and this user 10 days so this anon and user are known as scope over here these both scope are already defined in the uh, django rest framework package okay so we don't need to define this by our own but if you want to create our own custom scope which will be related to only this view so we can do that using scope rate throttle okay so if I say throttle underscore underscore scope equals to let's say blog hyphen list. So I'll just copy this scope name, save this file, come to settings.py and add that scope over here. And I will say 15 request per day. Okay, so this view is going to focus on the blog list scope if we want to throttle the user. Okay, so let me go to the Thunder client. Now here, I'll just generate the token first. So we are using JWT. So I'll just log in using my credentials. And I'll say post request. Okay, my server is not running. I'll activate my environment. And I'll say python minute.py run server. Okay, so I'll just grab the token first. So I got the token. I'll copy this access token. Okay, go to the blog list. And uh, here. I'll go to auth barrier and I'll paste that token over here and I'll just say get request. So this is request 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So my 15 requests are done. So if I send one more request, you can see. I got the error okay request was throttled all right so I hope you got idea about scope rate throttle now let me comment this one now I'll duplicate one more time and here I'll add one comment and it will be custom throttle okay and uh, the above settings was for scope rate throttle and above this was user rate i'll just copy this one and unknown rate throttle okay done yeah, so I'll just uncomment this one for now. Okay, so if you want to create the custom throttle, we need to create throttle.py file over here. So I'll just go to blog underscore app and I'll create new file which will be throttle.py. Okay, now in this file, I need to import 
user rate throttle so i'll say from rest framework dot throttle import user rate throttle okay so in this case i am trying to create throttle custom throttle for this blog list create view so i'll just copy this one come over here and i'll create class paste that one and i'll say throttle now i'll say user throttle now in here we just need to define scope equals to the scope name which is eventually going to be blog list only because we are creating for the same view okay now this particular class is going to target the scope which is defined over here which is blog list and it will allow us 15, 15 request okay and we are going to import this class in our settings.py file not settings.py sorry view.py file so i'll just come over here and say from dot throttle import blog list create view throttle now here instead of this corporate i'll just write the throttle which we have created in this file and if i go ahead and send a request one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and we got the error okay so this took this user rate okay okay so i misspelled this uh, scope spelling so i'll just say s c o p scope so i wrote this uh, scope spelling wrong that's why it took this uh, user request and uh, allowed me 10 request only okay so i s c o p e scope yeah done so i can request again so i'll say one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen you can see at 16th request i got an error for request throttle okay so this is how the custom throttle works so i hope you got idea about custom throttling and scope rate throttling both are eventually same if you don't want to create another file you can use scope rate throttle it's perfectly fine all right so yeah this is it for today's video guys if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel and i will see you in next time thank you